Hello, this is Mike Leiber from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the second video of part three of box modeling. Something we need to discuss here, and that is the idea of normals. You can see inside here the house looks really black, but it's colored on the outside. Now, the color on the outside means that I'm looking at the normal side. Is actually I can actually. Uh, what it means is when I render that, I will see that the black stuff will be invisible. I'm just going to render this at F9, uh, or you can hit uh, Shift uh, Q for a quick render. And you can see behind it's, it's, it's n you can't see the definition because it's transparent. In, uh, in order to be able to see that, you've got to have a normal facing you. Now, there's a way to get around this, and that is to put a material on it and then to render uh, two sides. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Let's put a material on this, render two sides, so we can get the inside of the house as well. So now we're going to put a material on this so we can actually see both sides. I just want to say something real quick. We have a whole series on this. Uh, so if this is real fast or you don't think I did something right, just wait. We're going to show you the right way to do everything. But we're going to hit M to get the material uh, list here. Because so I click on this, let's hit M. And there's my material. And uh, what I want to do is uh, basically select a material. So the way I do that is uh, select one of these uh, uh, spheres here. Go to Diffuse, and next to that is a little box. Click on that, and you can see here's a material map browser. And I'll click on Bitmap because I'm going to add a bitmap to the house. And come up here and hit OK. And 3ds Max shifts with a whole bunch of resources, and uh, it's a sample file with tons and tons of bitmaps and uh, bump maps, uh, materials, um, mocap files, for example. Mine's called Samples. So in that Samples file, let me go to that real quick. There we go. That shift with 3ds Max. I'm going to go to uh, Maps and Materials, and let's click on Maps. And I'm going to click a brick material, for example. And uh, there's a nice little uh, material right there. And we can just go ahead and select that. OK. And you can see that's put right onto my sphere. Now, if I don't like that sphere and I want to look at a box, I can come here and select this and actually change that to make it look like a box. And I'm going to make sure my whole house is selected in this particular case. Control A, and I'm just going to drag the material right out of the house. Boom. So the whole house is brick. Well, there you have it. I click that so I can see it. And let's go ahead and do a quick render so we can actually render the house. So Control Shift Q, and there's my house. Doesn't look very attractive with all that brick. I would actually want to select different polygons and um, kind of shade the house. But we're kind of going fast here so, so you can see how it's done. And there you have it. But once again, you see that black on the inside. So I'm going to get rid of that black. Because if I render that, uh, that will be invisible. So let's go ahead and get rid of that black. And the way we do that is we're going to go up one on the menu. And we're going to click on two-sided. And that's pretty cool. And at this point, if I shift Q, then I can see the inside of the house is indeed rendered and not invisible. So the trick there is to put the material on and hit two-sided and you're good to go. Okay, one more thing before we're done with this house. Let's do something to make it really cool looking. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and NURB it. All right. So if you come over here to your menu right here, there's a NURB command. And here's our NURB command right here. So you just click that and boom, there's our NURBed house. We'll put another iteration on that. Woohoo! And now it's kind of a funky looking tree house that you might see somewhere, you know, in a uh, Star Wars uh, episode. There you go. And uh, I don't like uh, looking through this menu right here, so I actually programmed that command key as Control Shift N. You have to go into your customize up here and program that key for you as well. And it's fun to play with NURBS; they're just super fun. We have a series on that as well. So there's my uh, funky-looking house. Uh, one thing I want to do here is basically is bring this roof down a little bit to make it kind of a, give it a little bow shape. Uh, let's uh, Control P to bring this down a little bit so we can see it. I'm just going to Control. Uh, Shift N. That's my program to control to get out of the NURB mode. Uh, let's bring this down a little bit more and let's work on this roof a little bit. I want to actually put a polygon, or excuse me, a vertex right here so I can uh, uh, bring that roof up and down and bow it in the middle. And the way I'm going to do that is pre pretty much just select the edges. So let's go ahead and hit uh, the uh, Q, to Q command and let's go to uh, 2 for edges and select the first edge. The second edge. That's it. Q, 2, there you go. Control R to arc rotate around. And let's uh, get that last edge right there. Q, 
control click there you got that last edge my shift control F that's my program key you have to program it in yourself and control R to come up here and you can see now I have a vertex at the top of the roof let's hit one select vertex I'm gonna click on that vertex right there I'm gonna control P to pan down a little bit so we can see this okay and let's control R to rotate just a little bit now what I'm gonna do is bring this up and down so if I hit W I can bring this up and down see just like that but the thing about that, it's really, in a sense, not very smooth. So I want to smooth that out a little bit. So if I come over here my in my menu, I can find something called Soft Selection. So I've hit Use Soft Selection. I can dial in the amount of selection that I want to fall off here. I want to increase it a little bit. And now you can see as I'm going up and down, let me bring that just a little bit more. Now if you want to fall off, if you want to move these more rapidly, hit the Control key when you use this spinner. There we go. Now we're getting some, some movement here. I can see, yeah, there you go. Let's control R so we can take a look at what we're doing here. And we can see W again. As we move this up and down, the whole house seems to be moving. So I got a little bit too much on there. I went a little too crazy. Let's bring it down a little bit. There we go. And you can see the, the amount of fall off. There we go. Now I get a little bit more. The whole house is kind of moving. All the vertices are kind of moving with it. It's a soft selection. In a sense, when you move one vertex, all the others move with it. And depending on what your fall off is, the, the higher that number is, the more vertices move, so and the more they're affected. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. That's Nurbit again. Control uh, Shift N. That's my program command. Control. Let's go ahead and P. Control P to pan up a little bit, so you can see that. And now that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Control Shift R. Just kind of pan around a little bit. Oh boy, pretty funky looking. Okay, well here's our funky looking house. Let's go ahead and hit Shift Q to quick render it. And there it is. Uh, just one more point here. Obviously, we added a lot of more uh, surfaces when we did a NURB, so this will run a little slower in Paper Vision. However, let's go ahead and bring this into Paper Vision and show you what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and export this to Carlotta. So I'll go to Export. And we're going to choose Carlotta. We'll put my, my house. And we're going to go ahead and hit Save. And it's going to ask us uh, for some information. We're going to click on Triangulate and hit OK. And that will now export my house. And let's bring that into Paper Vision. OK, I exported that Carlotta file to a folder called Test Carlotta Files 3DS. And I'm just going to grab it. It's called My House. So let's copy that Carlotta file. And I'm going to bring up my Flex application, where I've created a Paper Vision uh, program. And I'm going to paste that in my SRC folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So it can be brought directly into Flex. And in my Flex program over here, I've got to put the name of the Collado file that I'm importing as a display object. And let's scroll down here. Let's find that name. There it is. Uh, that The old one was House DAE, and this one is called My House. Let's just co uh, copy that name. And we'll just put it right in here for uh, my house. Here we go. And let's run the program. And way in the background there, you can see my house. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, bring it over a little bit. I've got some uh, controls here. We're working on a program to show people. Let's bring it down a little bit. And we'll actually be giving you all this software. So you can rotate it, and there's my house. And uh, not very impressive right now, but you can see it is running pretty fast in paper vision. I'm fairly happy with what I'm seeing as far as uh, speed is control concerned. And uh, like I said, we got some more control stuff to work on here with this program. Uh, when we do the spaceship, we'll be doing a modified version, pretty much a souped up version of this program. But you can see there's my house. So. There you go, and uh, uh, see you next time when we start building our spaceship.